The Momo Challenge tells children and adolescents a series of directions that lead up to harming themselves. And find out more information on the March Madness Tournament. Hey Vikes, I'm Ryan. I'm Haley, and you're watching SVTV. You may have heard about a mysterious creature named Momo recently. We have more information about this creepy character. The Momo Challenge tells children and adolescents a series of directions that lead up to harming themselves and committing suicide. Momo, Momo, Momo's gonna kill you. Some say the whole Momo Challenge is just a hoax, a theory being fueled by YouTube's statement that they have, quote, seen no recent evidence of videos promoting the Momo Challenge, but they add that they will take down any videos that violate their policy of encouraging harmful challenges. Mama, Mama, Momo's gonna kill you. We talked to several students and faculty members about their thoughts on this Momo character. Now I have a seven-year-old who is terrified of this thing that she hasn't seen and knows nothing about other than what an another kid told her, and she's scared to sleep in her own bed now. Well, my little brothers actually came home from school one day, and they won't even sleep in their own beds at night because other kids are talking about it, and it's, it's really scaring them. From what I gather, it's someone who is behind, who is behind it, and they're somehow inserting themselves or this picture scary thing into other videos. Well, I don't really know if it's real or not, but if it is, it's really creepy to tell kids that, to kill themselves. The district sent out a family note informing families to watch out for Momo to make sure families were aware of the problem. When dealing with Momo, you should follow the following steps. Tell children it is not real. Say no to Momo's peer pressure and report and block any Momo activity. It's sad that someone is terrorizing children and little kids and sending negative messages um, and hiding behind, you know, technology. I think that everybody should stop taking it as a joke because it's obviously not. Momo can easily influence children. Please keep a watch on them and their electronics. Now for your daily announcements. The art department will host a field trip to Wichita. Please stop by and grab a permission slip from any art teacher if you're interested. Everyone is welcome to shop at the prom closet. It's at Northern Christian Church on Saturday from 10 to 2. You can drop off your donations this Friday between 4 and 6.30. If you want to sign up for the blood drive, make sure you do that during lunch. It is this Friday and you must be 16 to donate. The Writing Center will be closed on Wednesday, March 20th. Students currently enrolled in AP courses, the AP exams are optional and cost $94 each. Pay the money to the bank and give your receipt to Mrs. Varner. The deadline is Tuesday, March 26th. If you plan on bringing an outside date or underclassmen to prom, you will need to fill out the outside date form and they will be available starting Wednesday, March 27th. Juniors, if you plan on graduating early next December, please get your application letter to Mr. Alexander as soon as possible. Now over to sports with Haley after this quick commercial break. All right, first things first, you're going to have to log in to ESPN.com and then click on men's basketball and click on tournament challenge. And then from here, you're going to want to click on my groups, scroll down a piece, then you're going to want to search up SVTV bracket. And then once you find it, click on the guy and then click on join group. Then type in the password, which is password with a capital P. Then click the little check mark and, and then push my groups. And you're in. That's it. Good job. So go join now because it's March Madness, baby. Yeah. March Madness. Woo. International Thespian Society is selling curtain cult messages all next week during lunches. It's only $1 for you to wish your friend on the cast or crew good luck. For $5, you can make a message for the whole cast. The musical is March 28th through the 30th. Don't forget to tell your favorite cast members to break a leg with one of these messages.
The semen blood drive will be on Friday, March 22nd from 9.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. You must be 16 or older and you need to submit a permission slip before donating. Sign-up sheets are found in government teachers' rooms or in Mr. Riley's room. Sign up today so you can help save a life. The softball apparel link has been reopened until March 31st. Students, if you're interested in trying out for cheerleading but were unable to attend the meeting, pick up your tryout packets from the front office. Girls soccer had their first game last night. JV lost 1-0 and varsity lost 4-0. Good job, Vikes. We go to Mason and Ike to find out more on the NCAA tournament. Hey Vikes, it's March Madness and the round of 64 starts tomorrow. So we're going to talk a little bit today about uh, bracketology. Ike, who do you got winning? Uh, personally, I've got Duke, you know, they've just been solid all season. Uh, Zion's been a little questionable lately about uh, injuries and stuff, but I think they're going to do just fine in the tournament, maybe pull a win out here. See, I got Tennessee going. I, 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 like, I like the way they're – they just really dominate whenever they get on the court. I, I, I like the way they play Duke. That's true. I do have them in the championship game, but I do, I'm losing to Duke. That's the only thing. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good uh, assessment, Mark. For you, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, if you want to join the March Madness tournament, you can go on ESPN.com and uh, click on uh, Tournament Challenge and uh, join SBTV Bracket. Do that soon, because we already have 70 people, and you can be one of them. Yes, you can. Right. Make sure you fill out and submit your bracket. Speaking of the tournament, let's find out more. Have a chance to tie or win it with a three. Taylor attacks, close, even at 72, 2.7 left. Last chance for the Panthers. And he said he wouldn't take a timeout in this situation. Jesperson, half court, he for the win. Jesperson does it. Slips for three in the win. Rebound, Johnson. Oh! oh! Johnson has hit two enormous threes. This one's good if it goes. Oh, dude! Oh, oh my goodness! How are you kidding me? One timeout, they don't take it. Talk to some students about their predictions on the NCAA tournament scores and who's going to win. Uh, I picked in Yoder's fantasy tournament, Virginia Tech, so I think I'm going to support that. But I don't really know because I like K-State better, honestly. Personally, I believe that North Carolina and Duke are going to battle it out in the final championship round, and North Carolina will indeed win by a score of 71 to 69. I think K-State is going to win against Duke in the championship with a score of 70 to 60. Yeah, I, I think KU is going to get beat by Auburn and uh, think Gonzaga is going to win championship. With all this madness, you're going to have to go make your own bracket and uh, watch the game to figure out who's going to win the tournament. Looks like Duke is doing pretty good. They might have the best shot. Now over to weatherman Josh Duncan on this first day of spring to see what spring weather will bring. Happy Wednesday to you after we got nearly a quarter of an inch of rain yesterday. Astronomical spring starts today. So let's take a look at the official start time, 4.58 p.m., you're going to notice a rapid change in the weather. Our temperature may actually climb from 56 degrees to 57 degrees. So you're going to notice that transition from winter to spring. And then what we're tracking heading to the weekend is a rain chance 
for Saturday. That's the start of it, at least. Some showers going to be moving through. And then, on, as you can see here on the seven day forecast, those showers will transition into a few thunderstorms for Sunday. Monday, showers continuing. We can't completely rule out a few snowflakes mixing in Monday night, but right now, confidence is too low to include that in our official forecast. Now, back to your anchors. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow, we'll find out more information about the Blood Drive and Life360. Have a great rest of your day.